The pictures were taken in the Sugar Institute of Berlin and we would like to use the opportunity to thank the Institute for having provided their facilities for this occasion. The auto felt by Schmidt & Henge is a semi-automatic pressure filtration unit used for the clarification of samples before the, their direct measurement in a polarimeter and a refractometer. The environmentally unfriendly and cost-intensive use of clarification chemicals for first expressed juices, coloured samples, still charged with a large amounts of undissolved solids becomes obsolete. The filtration time is less than one minute. The Universal Dosage System by Schmidt & Hench is a solution for automatic dosage and dilution works in laboratories. It allows dosages and dilutions with up to four different liquids and works optionally gravimetric or volumetric with precision up to 0.01 grams. The Universal Dosage Systems uses a precision digital balance and software that allows an ample variation of formulations. Mixing solid samples with liquids is also possible. The Purity Laboratory Analyzer is a combination of Sacroma and a refractometer measuring head. Using the method, the polarization, the brick's value and the purity of a sample can be determined very precisely and quickly, displaying all results already in one system. Of course, the data, including sample ID, date and time can be either printed or transmitted to a data collecting system like our Aquasis. The new Colormat 100 by Schmidt & Hange permits the simple measurement of transmission, extinction as well as the automatic output in colour units at the designated wavelengths in the range between 340 and 900 nanometers. A touchscreen monitor leads the user quickly and easily through the measurement procedure and allows direct text input, for example a sample description. The Sacroreflex by Schmidt & Hange is an electronic reflectance meter for the automatic determination of white sugar colour according to the ICUMSA recommendations. With this instrument the reflectance factors at 495 and 620 nanometers are measured and the results of white crystal sugar is expressed in colour units in the range of 1 to 6. Verification and calibration of the instrument is done by using the colour standards of the Sugar Industry Institute in Brunswick. The sugar beets are cut into beet strips which are pressed in a chopper. This is not typical procedure for the juice extraction. Normally you would use a masher followed by a bray filtration for sugar beets or a press for sugar cane. You can see that the extracted sugar juice has an unclear and dark appearance. For preparing the juice for the following measurements, sea light that is stirred carefully into a beaker is added as a filtration aid. No more than 10% by weight of sea light should be added for this procedure. After first experiences with this filtration method, normally you can reduce the amount of sea light later until you will receive a homogeneous dry filter cake. The autofilt is an effective possibility for clarifying samples automatically. In order to start the procedure, it is fitted with one or two filter pads having a pore size of 7 to 10 microns. Therefore, the filtration cylinder has to be lifted and dropped down after insertion of the filter pads. After having filled the sample into the funnel of the autofilt, the sample room is closed by the red lever and the starting key is pressed. You see the quick and easy filtration of the solution. After having filtered the designated volume, you should use as a precaution to release a second filtration round by pressing the starting key in order to squeeze out possible liquid from the filtration cylinder. After this, you can open the lever and you will get a dry filtration cake retaining all undissolved solids and suspended particles of the original solution. The result of this is the extraction of a dark, turbidity-free and highly optically absorbing sugar juice that can be poured directly into the stainless steel flow-through tube of the Schmidt & Hange near-infrared polarimeter for measurement. For preparation of the polarimeter, an instrument should be set zero at 882 nanometers by following the instructions of the menu appearing on the display. First of the clean flow through tube should be filled with distilled water and after a short time the reset function of the polarimeter should be activated. Here with the absolute zero of the polarimeter, polytronic or sacromat will be set. A sample volume of about 150 milliliters is needed in order to flush the distilled water or the previous sample out of the tube and secondly, provide enough sample volume for the actual measurement in the sacromat or polytronic, respectively. 
The tube is connected via a temperature sensor with the instrument and corrects automatically the temperature of the sample to 20 degrees, which is normally the reference temperature. In addition to this, a small part of the sample should be poured into the flow-through tube of the DUR refractometer measuring head, but only after having cleaned the sample room of this instrument and having dried the prism with a paper tissue. The instrument will be tested by distilled water to determine its zero point. Thereafter, enough sample volume should be added into the funnel of the refractometer in order to rinse the remains of liquid out of the flexible tubes or the sample room of the previous measurement. After having checked the instruments respectively, having set the zero point, you can immediately continue the measurement of the sample in series. It has been proven that it does not make sense to repeatedly flush with distilled water each time between the measurements. Before ending a measurement cycle, the tubes should be filled with water in order to avoid the formation of sugar crystals inside the tube. The presented system, consisting of the Sacromat or the Polytronic M-Series respectively, and the refractometer is the most compact purity measuring system that immediately calculates the results of the measurement, the pol and the bricks, into the purity of the sugar solution. Two methods are offered for this purpose. Direct measurement. This means you do not have to weigh 26 grams of your sample because the sucrose density factor stored in the polytronic will be used. The resulting so-called apparent pol will, with the direct undiluted readout of the bricks from the refractometer, will then be calculated and the values expressed in percent purity. Standard method. After weighing a sample in up to 26 grams and filling it up to 100 milliliters with deionized water, you can determine the purity while measuring the ratio between polarization and the Briggs value. With this method, the purity is also immediately displayed in percent purity. Both methods lead to the same results. In case the 26 grams method is used, our universal dosage system, auto dosage, is a great help. The auto dosage is a proportional balance and allows for a quick and comfortable sample preparation when either a well-defined weight per weight or a weight per volume dilution is needed. For instance, the above mentioned 26 grams per 100 milliliters preparation and the 1.5 ratio addition of clarifying agent is already pre-programmed. For this purpose, a beaker is placed on the balance and the system is set to zero. The system auto dosage allows you to program up to 70 different dosage recipes. A simple example of the use is the dosage of 26 grams into 100 milliliters. For this purpose, it is not necessary to weigh exactly 26 grams. The system allows a tolerance of the first part of the formulation. Auto dosage will automatically correct the difference according to the predetermined values of the formulation and dose either less or more solution in order to obtain the identical ratio of the composition. The precision of the system is depending on the balance used. We recommend a balance with a precision of 0.01 grams. The variation of the results will be plus minus 0.01 grams respectively. The system is a learning system. That means that it stores the flow through speed of the three different valve apertures and optimizes itself permanently. Possible differences to the preset ratio are indicated on the display. As you see, Schmidt & Hensch has developed a simple system for dosing liquids as well as definable additions of liquids to solid samples, resulting in an enormous simplification of the laboratory routine and leading to much less handling errors. The new generated ColorMat 100 has been developed for routine measurements of color of liquids. This instrument is also designed to facilitate your daily work. You can use flow-through tubes having a length of 100 mm as well as single curvettes with a length of 10 and 50 mm. The system is easily set to zero by using distilled water in the respective measuring tube. When applying the Icumza method for the determination of liquid sugar colour, the Brix value is taken preferably from one of the wide selection of Schmidt & Hensch refractometers. It is entered via the touch screen. By activating the simple start button, the colour mat is now immediately measuring the Icumza colour and issues the results in so-called Icumza units. The constantly growing library of preset methods has a capacity for up to 250 pre-programmed tests with nine individual wavelengths. Last but not least, we would like to present the Sakura Flax to you. This is the approved measuring method for determining the colour of crystal sugar. Based on the so-called Braunschweig standards, which are used as reference materials, this system is calibrated to the 0 or 6 endpoints of this scale. 
Therefore, the respective sample is filled into the cup which should be filled up to the brink and then is flattened. The sample is placed below the measuring aperture. The Saccharoflex is now calibrating itself according to the predetermined values of the Brunschweig standard which has been previously set via the keyboard. In the same manner, the upper endpoint of the scale, the value 6, is adopted by the Saccharoflex. After this calibration procedure, an unlimited number of white sugar samples can be measured directly one after another. The verification of the scale's end points can be repeated by the laboratory's specialised staff as often as required. At this point, it should be noted that the measurement of white sugar crystals is a complex measurement which takes into account glance, particle size, as well as the colour. It reproduces the colour perception of the human eye, which composes the colour impression from different sources as well. We are consequently not talking about a simple colour value, but about an empirical scale which is in accordance with the perception of the human eye. Accordingly to this, Arkumza has determined the ratio values of 495 and 620 nanometers that reproduce this colour impression best. An additional Ikumza colour standard is presently being examined. We hope to be able to supply you another standard soon.